Hey, what's up everybody? So before we start today's video, um, I crashed twice yesterday. Um, today it is 5.45 in the morning. Um, I woke up to see how I feel. Um, I didn't edit the video for today yet because I wanted to, if I felt the way I do today right now, I wanted to make this, put it in the beginning of this video to let you guys know that unfortunately I'm taking Saturday off. Um, this right here, I don't know if you can see it because I can't see it. It hurts to turn and look at it. Um, I fell twice yesterday. Uh, the first time was on camera. You guys are going to see that. Um, the second time uh, I was on the fire road and I had my phone in one hand and my hand on the handlebar and then I hit a small rock and handlebars twisted and bounced off of the GoPro right into my side and I bumped my knee. I mean, the knee's not feeling that bad. My my ankle was feeling pretty bad, but I iced it and it was pretty good. It's this that's absolutely killing me. Every time I turn, it hurts. Every time I breathe, it hurts. We're gonna take Saturday off and then Sunday, I'm gonna go right back into it. But I need, I didn't take into account crashing when I made this. Um, I, I've had a very lucky year and uh, I didn't ex I didn't think that I would crash, I guess. I didn't take that into any consideration at all. And I can't get hurt. I mean, I do have an actual life besides YouTube. And if that gets jeopardized, then YouTube's not paying any bills. So um, Saturday, we're gonna take a breather today. It's gonna give me an opportunity to empty out my car and clean up all my gear and stuff and then refresh for Sunday morning. I will create another video. So you'll have a video today, which is Saturday. And then you'll have the next video on Monday. Starting on Sundays, I'm going to be releasing a week-long schedule of where I'm going to be riding at. And if anybody wants to tag along or show me an area that I've never been to around where I am going, um, that would be perfect. I, I started realizing that I need to pick closer things to home. That way I'm not getting home so late every single day. So um, some of the trails are based on location um, and then some of the trails are based on trying not to repeat things. Um, so definitely thank you again for all the support. I have a couple people that are going to be riding with me next week. I'm very excited and um, let's just get right into the video. Thanks guys. Okay. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody and welcome back. Today is day four. Before we start today's video, I want to thank everybody that's reached out to me. We had the president of NEMA reach out to me and she wants to go riding. Her and her husband are a huge part of the community when it comes to mountain biking in Connecticut. I went on a ride with them, I want to say that last December, and those guys are beasts when it comes behind the bikes. Those guys were doing things that I could never imagine. I remember I was pushed way far back to the back because I couldn't keep up. By the time I get up there, they're all taking turns jumping up on a tree that probably was four feet. It was unbelievable. Um, so we're going to get to ride with them and a whole bunch of other people. We've created some events. If you've checked out anywhere on Facebook, there's a bunch of events that we've created for Thunder Mountain to Powder Ridge to Norbrook Brewery. We're going to do one for Crandall. We're going to do one for Cowles. And we're making a list and going through the whole entire list um, with specific days and times so that if people want to ride, the option is there. So today we're at Rockland. We're not going to tear apart all of Rockland at once because I probably can't do 15 miles or 20 miles if I tried right now. Um, Rockland is a great area. It's one of my favorite places to ride. And today we're going to end up riding Beeline and Erratica. Those are going to be my two um, trails that I usually hit when I drive up to Renee's Way because there's a couple different entrances to this place. And the next time I come here, we'll check out their skills area. They have a pump track and they have, from my understanding, maybe a jump trail. I'm not too sure they were working on it last time I was here. So we can check that out the next time that we come. But today we're starting at the top of the hill to reduce the climbing because after yesterday, I need something a little bit easier. Let's get out there. Beeline, here we go. We had a uh, family come in here, so we wanted to give them a couple minutes. I don't know if I'm fast or, Ooh. You okay? Okay. So we want to give some people some time. We don't want to be riding right up on them. This is one of my favorite trails here, mainly because I guess the way it comes in, you're just like a constant downhill right away. <laughs> so maybe that's why. <laughs> uh, she fell, but she said she was okay. No problem. Good luck. Oh. 
Oh. Day four, my legs are a little sore, but um, I've been rolling them out at night on the foam roller. And um, I've just been making sure to stretch at work when I get the opportunity to. This place for, for mapping, oop, it's pretty good. Um, it definitely helps to ride with somebody, but if you haven't ridden here, you won't get that lost. Oh. There is a part of this trail that I do get stuck at. <laughs> but we'll try to get through it. Ooh, that did not sound good. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> oh, <fuck. sighs> oh. Okay. Whew. Whew. Oh. It's like after a fall, I just oh. I lock up. <laughs> Everything seems to be working fine. Very skinny. <laughs> this is the part that gets me. Every time, every time I end up walking some of this. <clears throat> Damn it. Okay, come on. Oh. 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 All right. Oh. But I would like to stop getting pedal strikes <laughs> and I would like to, uh, Pick some better lines. Ooh, I hit this tree one time that we just passed. Very hard. <laughs> oh. Bad gear. Oh, oh right at the end. <laughs> we are on Erratica. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, if I'm butchering it, I do apologize. Um, this is like, I want to say it's about two and a half miles, maybe a little bit more of ups and downs the whole way. Uh, I guess if you've ever been to Rockland, you know everything is ups and downs the whole way. <sighs> Today's question of the day, if you could answer it, it would be grateful. Why am I getting so many pedal strikes? And my brakes. Why do they sound like that? I hate that. I feel like they're glossed over.
it's nice how these trails kind of overlap a uh, overlap a fire road in case you decide that you've had enough or the guy that I was just talking to um, Ooh, that was very bad. <laughs> the guy that I just talked to had to replace his chain. Um, which I've never thought about that. I hope, knock on wood. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen. Last time I was here, I did get a flat. But someone told me one time, and I could be wrong, but someone told me one time they have better luck if they talk about what they don't want to happen versus if they kind of just let it go. Nice little berms, nice little fast sections. Nice little rock features, a lot of rock features. Is that what I said? Oh. Today is like, I'm falling off the trail. <laughs> Today is so much better than yesterday. So we're not doing too bad um, leg-wise, in case you guys are wondering. Um, yeah, it's not doing too too bad today, but uh, it's like a shotgun shell. Once the thing goes off, it's gonna damage everything around it. Um, for me today, it's the chamois. It just makes me feel uncomfortable. I'd like to not get any more detail than that, but it is very uncomfortable. You got a couple berms, you know, there's a drop or two and some rock gardens to go through. Some alternative lines that you choose at the last second. Oh, that one, I panicked. Okay, we can roll that. Ooh. I hit the chain ring right there. Well, it sounded like it. It sounded like the frame. It could have been anything. Uh. Yep, keep hitting my seat because it's down too far. Jeez! Oh, that sounded real bad. I don't even want to look. That could have ended bad. There's like a, this way, there's an overhang. Probably 30 feet, maybe 25 feet. And that bush is way too overgrown. Didn't make the whole skinny, I <laughs> almost made it. We'll do a little bit of trail maintenance real quick. Jeez, sometimes I just get on a bad line.
Radica. They keep putting labels up, so we must be getting towards something. All right, well, we made it back. We got to the, the end of Erratica and the battery ended up dying and I rode the fire road back so I didn't see the need to put another battery in and take you guys on that long, boring ride. But something did happen. The first thing that I wanna say is shout out to Razor cell phone cases. I fell with all my weight on this cell phone case and for some reason my cell phone is not cracked. I don't know about the back yet, I don't wanna look, but um, I was looking at my phone, the trail forks to make sure I was taking the right fire road home, back to the parking lot. And one hand off the bars, the other hand holding a phone. It was I was all over the place, and one little rock, two three inches big, and I went right over. And I got that right there, lay a little scrape, and these little scraped up. Um, two crashes today. I'm not doing good on day four, out of day 30. Um, we did we only did about four miles. We did Beeline, and then we did Erratica, um, because I, I wanted to keep it, you know. Uh, moderate pace during the week and on the weekends push myself a little bit harder this weekend's gonna be a little rough um i can feel my side every time i look at it i like turn my head and look down towards it i start cramping up so uh tonight we're gonna roll out we're gonna ice that my um ankle's still a little messed up from the first crash that we took um so i'm gonna ice that up too and tomorrow should be a fun ride <laughs> oh it's gonna hurt i hope it doesn't hurt um Again, thanks to everybody leaving comments, everybody following me, everybody that wants to be a part of this 30-day challenge. I appreciate you guys so much. You're doing so much to help me. And I hope that you guys can look at my Strava and realize that when we ride together, I'm not the fastest rider unless we're at a bike park. And then I'm still not even that fast. But I'll keep up a little bit. Norbrook's going to be fine. Thunder's going to be fine. Powder Ridge is going to be fine. Oh, that's it. I got an hour drive home. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.